Good morning, good afternoon, guys. God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful day. Happy Tuesday, by the way, guys. Uh, we're in Prosper, Texas. We're actually working on uh, these three vehicles here. This one here, I recently coated it. Uh, we're going about two weeks that I coated it since then. I think it's been rained on and a little bit of everything going on here. So uh, we're here for the maintenance washes. Uh, originally, this was a bi-weekly customer, um, but now he switched up to a weekly, uh, weekly basis um, to upkeep the uh, maintenance on the car. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, but mainly the video of today is a lot of people ask me, hey, Carlos, uh, when you have multiple cars in one place, how do you wash the cars? I know a lot of people will uh, do like one vehicle <coughs> at a time uh, but today you'll see a, <coughs> a little bit of my process on how i do it to um on doing multiple vehicles as well as um i'm gonna be showcasing this new product to me by the it's double black by renny doyle the express interior cleaner i'll talk a little bit about what i like about it uh, where i got it um, but yeah but anyways uh let's not uh take a lot of your time because i don't want to make the video long uh, but let's get started all right you going to school all right so step number one is i always blow out the uh, interiors um so that's what i do what i do to car number one i'm gonna do to car number two and i'm gonna do to each vehicle um this way this helps me kind of move quicker to be honest i know some people like to do it by like piece and piece you know do the whole interior then wash the car as for me when i have three cars i will start blowing each one uh all the way through each vehicle uh this way um i don't have to like go back and redo the process so that's what i'm doing right now here is blowing out um each interior and then we're gonna follow um to the next step which is the interior uh wipe down And we are now to the cleaning or wipe down of the interior. Step number one is actually blowing all the interior. Then step number two for me is cleaning all the interior. So I'm wiping down all the dashboards, the cup holders, um, the door panels, the seats. Pretty much just cleaning everything nicely and thoroughly. Um, and then we'll move over to the, um, the last thing I do is vacuum. Um, because at that point I want to make sure I get all the debris out uh, so that when I vacuum the car it is just so much quicker but as of right now you're seeing me just um, go to each car and <coughs> we are um, wiping down all the interior I recently bought uh, PNS products from Carter's car care out in uh, Arlington Texas if you live in Dallas or the surrounding areas and you're looking for a PNS distributor, Carter's Car Care out in Arlington. I'll be posting his address down below. He is a, uh, uh, he's the official, um, I think the only distributor in Dallas for PNS products. And there's no better thing than to support your own friends in their business. So I went out there and I purchased some PNS stuff. I've never used PNS. Um, so to me, this is new right um so i'll give you guys my honest feedback uh, since i purchased it i have really enjoyed it because it cleans nicely especially if you're doing a lot of these like maintenance packages or maintenance details where the vehicles are maintained this it is perfect for that um, i haven't tried it on like a dirty interior yet but for vehicles that are maintained pns this one does amazing guys um, now a lot of you guys will say, oh, you're going to, Serrano sauce is still the best. Yes, <laughs> Serrano sauce is great cleaner, right? But it doesn't leave like a protection behind, right? Um, but PNS, it does that. So really easy, guys. It smells amazing, like <laughs> kind of like bubble gum. But what I like about it is truly it cleans nicely. It is sudsy. It's very sudsy. Uh, when you when you apply a lot and you're using like a brush it does really really well but one thing that I love is it leaves behind 
a protection already. So speci specifically uh, on this Mercedes, right? We're cleaning it, um, but at the same time, it's gonna give you like that that new car feel, right? No, uh, no dressings, nothing like that. Just good cleaning power with um, with some uh, protection left behind. And really, I have enjoyed that this product specifically for that. And I like, and what I like about it is, once it dries out, it literally goes right back to its original form. Like it flashes quick. Um, and when I say flashes, it, I mean it, it just. Uh, uh, it just cleans nicely uh, and you'll see it and it gives you just that nice new leather look without the dressing so I have really enjoyed this um, so so far I've already blown each vehicle each one next is we are cleaning all the <coughs> material next I'm gonna be uh, cleaning all the windows we're gonna vacuum each one wash them and we'll be out of here but uh, PNS really really good product this one here the express interior it does really well i paid like the original price was like 18.99 i believe for the gallon i bought the gallon and i bought an extra sprayer um i can't complain on the price i have really enjoyed the way it leaves the interiors so definitely a good product if you haven't tried pns go check them out carter's car care in arlington hey thank you for always supporting me and obviously for having these uh, products. I know a couple of people already went and uh, I think bought some stuff there. But anyways, let me continue wash, uh, cleaning this car so we can get out of here. And we are to the cleaning the windows. I've already cleaned the Ford Lightning's windows. We are to the Jeeps. And now crossing over to the Mercedes. Uh, so that's usually the process that I go by each step every time with working with multiple cars. Uh, cleaning the windows is the last thing I do. And then I jump over to the vacuuming stage. And before washing the car, I blew out everything already, cleaned everything nicely. So the last thing I do is vacuum all the cars and we will get ready for the washing phase and we sh are closer to finishing. So I'm using the little rigid uh, four gallon vacuum with I think it's a 20 foot hose that I got from like a pool hose. And that pretty much wraps it up for today guys. I hope today's video kind of helped you guys out. I kind of shortened you guys on the washing process because obviously you guys already know what to do but um, as you guys saw in the beginning obviously I do it uh, I do everything on each vehicle um, at once that way I don't have to like stop and then redo it so now like when I have multiple cars then I'm gonna make sure that I, I will blow out all the interior on all of them first and then go back to the next step and then do all the cars like that as you guys saw um, and for the washing process you're probably like dang all the soap's probably gonna get on the cars it's a little bit windy today so I started on uh, the Mercedes first uh, that way as I was washing the cars the soap was going that way so next up it was the Jeep which is not here no more uh, she took it already and we washed the Jeep <coughs> and then I finished off with the uh, lightning with the Ford lightning and that was about it I started about uh, 9 <laughs> 9:45. It's, I think it's like 12 30 right now I'm done and I've done each one uh, so that's a little bit on how I do multiple cars whenever I get that um, I just do it all at once if I'm blowing one car I'm gonna blow all of them and then I'll come back and do the next step on all of them and it works a little bit quicker like that guys um, but I know everybody some we all do it differently but it's a really simple process that kind of hopefully can help you out maybe when you get multiple cars don't panic just find your rhythm find something that works for you <laughs> And finally.
find something that works for you and stick to it. The wind blew my tripod down. Oh God, my wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe and I'll see you guys on the next video.